Hi students, welcome back to my second online class. As you all know, we were dealing with the study of biomolecules chapter. Isn't it? First, let us have a quick recap of our first class. In the first video class, we have discussed what are biomolecules, what are carbohydrates, their general formula, the definition of carbohydrates, then types of carbohydrates based upon mode of uh, hydrolysis into monosaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides, then classification based on taste, sugars and non-sugars and the third classification based on chemical nature into reducing sugars and non-reducing sugars. Isn't it? With this background, now let us continue our discussion on carbohydrates. Today, we will be discussing some aspects of monosaccharides. Okay. What are monosaccharides? Monosaccharides are carbohydrates. These are the simplest form of carbohydrates that cannot be hydrolyzed further to give still simpler compounds are called monosaccharides, isn't it? So we have discussed this in uh, our previous video lecture. So these are the simplest carbohydrates. Around 20 monosaccharides of the nature. These monosaccharides are usually crystalline solids. They are sweet in taste and they easily soluble in water. You know glucose powder, you know, it easily soluble in water. Yes, glucose is also a monosaccharide. We'll discuss classification of monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are classified into two classes, aldoses and ketoses. This classification is done based on the functional group present in the monosaccharide carbohydrate. Look at the word aldoses. Aldoses, the functional group aldehyde. Ketoses, functional group the ketone. Isn't it? So, aldoses are the monosaccharide carbohydrate which contain which functional group? Aldehyde functional group that is CHO, example glucose. Whereas, ketoses are the monosaccharide which contain ketone functional group that is C double bond O functional group. Fructose contain a ketone functional group. We will study the structure uh, of glucose and fructose so later. Okay, This is first classification based upon the functional group present in the monosaccharide carbohydrate. Monosaccharides are also classified based upon the number of carbon atoms present in the molecule. So, if the monosaccharide contain three carbon atoms, then it is called triosis. Glyceraldehyde is an example. If the monosaccharide contain four carbon atoms called as tetrosis, erythrose is an example. If it contain five called as a pentose monosaccharide, ribose is an example and if the monosaccharide carbohydrate contain six carbon atoms called as hexoses, glucose is an example. Okay, this classification is done based on number of carbon atoms. Now we will discuss the first monosaccharide that is glucose in detail. Glucose is a monosaccharide, simpler, simple form of a monosaccharide found in plants, especially in a, a fruits, sweet fruits as well as in honey. This uh, glucose is also called as aldohexose. So aldohexose has a two part. Aldo refers to aldehyde functional group and hexose refers to uh, monosaccharide which contain six carbon atoms. That means glucose contain aldehyde functional group 
and glucose contain 6 carbon atoms. So, aldoses and hexoses. Eduna serci, one day word term in ado, aldo hexose indicates what the molecule contain aldehyde functional group and a 6 carbon atoms with the molecular formula C6H12O6. Let us study preparation of glucose. Glucose can be prepared by means of two methods. The first one from sucrose, cane sugar. So sucrose is obtained from a sugar cane juice. Okay, so the sugar we are using in our home, uh, it is sucrose, a disaccharide. When this sucrose is made to undergo hydrolysis in the presence of acidic medium, we are getting an equal amount of glucose as well as a fructose. C12 H22O11 is a molecular formula of sucrose. We will discuss in the next class. This sucrose undergo hydrolysis in the presence of either dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid. Sucrose yields one mo molecule of glucose and another molecule of fructose. So, glucose is prepared by the hydrolysis reaction of a sucrose. Another method, it can also be obtained on a large scale that is by commercial method uh, by the hydrolysis of starch. Starch is uh, again a carbohydrate which is a polysaccharide. We will discuss about this in a later class starch structure and all components and all. So starch is a polysaccharide with the molecular formula C6H10O5 hold the uh, bracket n times. So it is a polysaccharide C6H10O5 uh, n mm, units of these are present in a polysaccharide starch. So uh, this made it to undergo hydrolysis again in the presence of what? Dilute sulfuric acid at 393 Kelvin at 393 Kelvin and at a pressure of a 2 to 3 atmospheric pressure. So this starch undergo hydrolysis to produce n number of C6H12O6 Andre, hydrolysis of starch produces n number of glucose units. So on a commercial scale large amount of glucose is obtained by hydrolysis of starch polysaccharide. Okay. So regarding this sucrose structure starch structure we will discuss in the same concept in a later classes okay this is about preparation of glucose molecule now well we will discuss uh, one important concept of uh, this uh, biomolecule chapter that is structure elucidation of glucose so I hope uh, it's a new terminology for you, isn't it? Elucidation. So, what is the meaning of this structure elucidation? Glucose was assigned the structure given below. Okay, we'll see structure of glucose on the basis of following evidences. So, in a simple words, I would like to tell you what exactly the elucidation process is. Whenever a new organic compound is uh, prepared, no, synthesized in the laboratory, what the chemist do is uh, a structure will be given to that molecule. So organic compound will be obtained either in a solid form or liquid form. So uh, after uh, synthesizing the new compound, a structure is derived or proposed. So which all elements are there? How many carbon atoms are there? How many hydrogen? Which are uh, uh, functional groups are there? Whether the molecule has a straight chain, branched chain, ring structure is there, heterocyclic ring is there. So everything. So that the process of uh, the finding or proposing a structure for a newly synthesized molecule involve many techniques. That those techniques comes under the process elucidation. So simple like here because you have to use compound Structure propose structure 
structure elucidation nowadays many uh, sophisticated uh, instruments are there to find the structure of a organic compound uh, spectroscopic techniques are there but in uh, olden days this structure of a uh, organic compound used to find out by means of chemical test qualitative as well as a quantitative organic chemical test so by trial and error method so the concept of structure elucidation of glucose mentioned in the our syllabus is based on a uh, olden day techniques not a recent or advanced techniques okay we'll see this is by means of chemical reactions okay now we again martta idave namatra glucose ide glucose powder ide white colored crystalline powder ide ಆ ಪೌಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಆ ಪೌಡರ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಎಷ್ಟೆಷ್ಟು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಯಾವುದು ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇದೆ ಹಾಂ ಚೈನ್ ಹೆಂಗಿದೆ ರಿಂಗ್ ಇದೇನೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಚೈನ್ ಇದೇನೋ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ಡ್ ಚೈನ್ ಇದೇನೋ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಎಲ್ಯೂಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಟು ಯು ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ and molecular mass determination so two concepts are there by these two techniques the molecular formula of glucose is found to be c6h12o6 so what we had we had a white colored crystalline powder we have named that powder uh, solid as a glucose glucose anthe sir kutti deve so that glucose powder molecular formula is c6h12o6 ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪೌಡರ್ನ ನೋಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತದ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಓ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೋ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಯು ಕೆಟ್ ದ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಕಾಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ದೆನ್ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ by lysine test lysine sodium fusion extract test isn't it so trial and error method again these are uh, the organic compound is taken here the glucose powder is taken tested for the presence of carbon present bandre yes carbon is there anta confirm madodu uh, hydrogen test madodu oxygen test madodu nitrogen so like this detection is tests are carried out we came to know that molecule uh, that uh, glucose molecule contain carbon ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಇನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋದೆಲ್ಲ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಇದೀಗ ಡು ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಬೈ ಲೆಬಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೆಥೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಬೈ ಝೆಲ್ಡಾಲ್ಸ್ ಮೆಥೆಡ್ ಡುಮಾಸ್ ಮೆಥೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಲೋಜನ್ ಬೈ ಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಥೆಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗಿಬನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಹೌದಾ ನಾ ಜೆಲ್ಡಾಲ್ಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಗೊತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂತ ಕಂಡು ಹಿಡಿತಿದ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅಂತ ಕಂಡು ಹಿಡಿಯಬಹುದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟೆಷ್ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದೆ ಲೇಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ we can find out its empirical formula and molecular formula so ee concept nimge first puc uh, first chapter some basic principles okay not organic chemistry chapter first chapter dali bandittu percentage kottaga uh, molecular formula so empirical formula and molecular formula calculation so just recall your memory so it was a in, very important concept in first puc so by these techniques we can find out molecular formula iga powder do white color crystalline powder the formula in aitu c6 h12 o6 okay so in detail agi la iga first pc alli nivella study maadi olle marks thagondi isn't it okay so only one line is mentioned in the book not important for this year examination point is concerned second point so in the first point we came to know that six carbon atoms are there how these six carbon atoms are
So what's that second point? When glucose is heated with HI, hydrogen iodide, in the presence of red phosphorus. So it forms N hexane. Look at the reaction. CHO, CHOH four times, CH2OH. So it's a uh, what glucose uh, molecule, glucose structure. Actually, uh, again one doubt is there. Now when Martha, the way we are finding the structure for that glucose molecule, no, we had a white colored crystalline powder. The structure hangi the candidate the way. But I have already written here in the reaction CHO, uh, this one CHO, CHOH, four times CH2H. Already written, written structure, no. So how come it is possible? But actually, I think it's a wrong method of representation. I mean, no structure candidate I the way. Already modlige reaction the structure but the wrong act the I don't know why this uh, method is followed in all textbooks and all. All textbook dali idhe riti kote dare reaction new idhe riti follow matri riti baradraste marks sikta the. But uh, nani gan sikta the? It's a uh, not a correct method anta anusta the because in the structure candidate dilla. But you need to follow this reaction only. When this glucose molecule is treated with a hydrogen iodide and red phosphorus, it gives CS3, CS2, 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 CS2 CS3, N hexane. So here, uh, in the presence of hydrogen iodide and red phosphorus, the oxygen containing functional groups are gets reduced into a hydrocarbon and alkane. Which alkane? N hexane. So N hexane and no molecule in the straight chain the lide, linear chain the lide and tartha. So this formation of a straight chain hexane structure, N hexane structure indicates that the glucose contains six carbon atoms. That we know those six carbon atoms are arranged in a straight chain. And the conclusion bar bodu. Instead of N hexane, if you get isohexane. The glucose molecule has a branched chain on the Okay, so by this point, what is confirmed when a glucose is treated with HI and red phosphorus, there is a formation of an hexane shows that a molecule of glucose contains six carbon atoms in a linear chain, in a straight chain. And this point is important for two marks. Head marks ke exam dali prashne One point in the prashne barodila. Second point is very important. Okay. Ah, yes, there is one question in a March 2020 question paper, and a very recent question paper in seniors uh, uh, in attempt to the law last to March 2020. Ah, question paper, the one day 36th question A. Write a chemical reactions to elucidate glucose contains six carbon atoms in a straight chain. So, if the question is asked like this for two marks, it was asked in a March 2020 examination. What will be your answer? Okay. Another question was asked in a March 2016 annual examination. The question is like this, 36th C. How do you show that glucose contains a linear chain of six carbon atoms? Okay. Prashtne kyaarud bere but answer eduko same. Write a chemical reaction to elucidate. Elucidate means to find that glucose contains six carbon atoms. This the second point, you know, same thing. Then what must be your answer? Your answer must be like this. Just now I have said you know. So you need to write this uh, uh, explanation for one mark and reaction for another mark. So two marks. Okay. So, uh, in a first question, write the chemical reaction. And the mention mark the write a chemical reaction. You need to write a reaction. In second case, how do you show that glucose contain a linear chain of six carbon atoms? Write the reaction on the mention model, but you must write the chemical reaction. Writing a chemical reaction is mandatory. Okay. So, if you write this much, you will get a two marks okay so got it how the question will be there from this concept very simple question will be there for two marks third point 
functional group. Now we'll find out which functional groups are there in a glucose molecule. So first reaction. When a glucose is reacted with hydroxyl amine to form an oxime. Okay. So to new words for you, new or uh, what you call compound name, hydroxyl amine as well as oxime. NH2OH is called hydroxyl amine and this functional group, so whatever the um, marking I am making here, CH double bond NOH is called oxime functional group. So one concept is there in organic chemistry. You will learn this reaction in a earlier chapter, alkali theory. Concept is like this. Concept is like this. When a carbonyl functional group C double bond O, it's called carbonyl, present both in aldehyde as, as well as a ketone. When this is treated with a hydroxyl amine, hydroxyl amine is NH2OH. So it forms like this CH double bond NOH, NOH. So it forms CH double bond N single bond OH. This functional group is called oxime functional group. So like that, like uh, you have uh, carboxylic acid COOH, aldehyde CHO, like that oxime functional group. So when oxime is formed, when hydroxyl amine is treated with carbonyl functional group. Okay, you remember this concept, you will learn this the same thing in a organic chemistry chapter. Okay, now we will see. Here, we are treating a glucose molecule with hydroxyl amine. Okay, so there is a formation of oxime. Look here, C double bond NOH group is formed. No, glucose oxime is formed. So formation of glucose oxime indicates what? Is there any other the glucose molecule? There any day? C double bond O carbonyl group is present and the isn't it? So by this reaction, when glucose is reacted with hydroxyl amine, if there is a formation of glucose oxime, indicates that there is a presence of carbonyl functional group. One more reaction is there. So to find the presence of carbonyl functional group. So second reaction would be when glucose is treated with hydrogen cyanide HCN when glucose is treated with hydrogen cyanide there is a formation of what glucocyanohydrin again one more concept is there in your organic chemistry chapter aldehyde ketone dali the concept is like this so when a carbonyl functional group c double bond o is treated with hydrogen cyanide. So this reaction is very important in organic chemistry. Three mark ke uh, mechanism kyotare. There is a formation of glucocyano uh, sorry cyanohydrin cyanohydrin antandre to the carbon atom CN group as well as OH group. The same carbon ge CN mat OH group attach again this functional group is called as what cyanohydrin okay now look here there is a formation of what cyanohydrin ch cn oh so we are treating with hcn formation of cyanohydrin indicates what the molecule of glucose contain carbonyl functional group isn't it okay so what will be our conclusion now either by uh, uh, either by these one of the reactions we can conclude that this indicates that glucose contains a carbonyl group in the organic compound in the hair bodu. okay so again this concept is also important for two marks so question will be like this how do you show that a molecule of glucose contain carbonyl group so atwa write the chemical reaction to elucidate the presence of carbonyl group in a glucose molecule then what must be your answer? Write any one among two. So 
ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತದೆ ಇದು ಬರೆದ್ರೂ ಅದೇ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಬರೆದ್ರೂ ಅದೇ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಗೆ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಇನ್ನ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಓ ದಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ಇನ್ನೂ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಬರೀ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ಐದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ಎರಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಿದೆ ಅದ್ಯಾವುದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಬಂತು ಸೊ ಏನು ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬ್ರೋಮೀನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಬ್ರೋಮೀನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೀಕ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋನಿಕ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಗ್ಲುಕೋನಿಕ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಓ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ಓ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಓ ಎಚ್ ಸೊ ಏನು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಯಿತು ದ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಓ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಕಾರ್ಬಾಕ್ಸಿಲಿಕ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸ್ ಕೀಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಸಿಡ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಓ ಓ ಎಚ್ ವೆರ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಓ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಮೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕೀಟೋನ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಎಲಿಸಿಡೇಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ಇನ್ನ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಮಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಚೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋನಿಲ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಲ್ಡಿಹೈಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋಹೈಡ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಂಟೇನ್ ಪಾಲಿ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ನೋ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ
ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एल डी एड कीटो नाइन कर्बोक्सी केसिट चाप्ट्रल इन डीटेल कल ती ना रियाक्षन बे हेतु मेकानिसम अद्र बे वरी माता वाट्स अवर इंटेंशन ग्लूकोज कन्वर्टेड इंटू वाट वाट इस प्रेसेंट विच फंक्ष ग्रूप इस देर वाट्स अ स्ट्रक्चर ओनली दैट पॉइंट विल कॉन्सट्रेट ओके सो when one mole of a glucose consumes five moles of acetic acid right to form a glucose pentacetate so here look here cho ch o c double bond o ch3 four times ester functional group is formed r r c o o r dash ester functional group so how many four plus here one more five indicates what these ester func groups are formed from oh groups so इले पेंटासीटेट फार्म आगोद्र हौ मेनी ओ एच ग्रूप इन अवर ग्लूकोज मालिक्यूल फैव अदे टेट्रासीटेट फार्म आगे ग्लूकोज कंटेन फोर ओ एच ग्रूप ट्रई असीटेट फार्म आगे ग्लूकोज कंटेन थ्री ओ एच ग्रूप कंक्लूशन सिंस देर इज अ फार्मेशन आफ अ पेंटासीटेट ग्रूप इन द प्रोडक्ट इट इंडिकेट्स दैट अ मालिक्यूल आफ ग्लूकोज कंटेन हौ मेनी ओ एच ग्रूप फैव ओ एच ग्रूप ओके दिस this can also be asked for two marks okay again look here in a recent examination march 2020 this question was there 36a write a chemical reaction to elucidate glucose contain 5 oh group indre beku nimma answer iga same thing just now explain no when a one mole of glucose reacted with a 5 mole of acetic acid right to give glucopentacetate then write a reaction this indicates the presence of five oh groups in a glucose molecule okay very simple it is next point so those five oh groups are there those oh groups are alcoholic groups are either primary they are secondary tertiary so that we are finding in a next point presence of one primary alcoholic group when glucose is treated with a nitric acid concentrated nitric acid glucose as well as gluconic acid both yields a dicarboxylic acid called as saccharic acid look here this is glucose molecule treated with nitric acid so nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent we are treating with strong oxidizing agent so Uh, in a previous reactions we have treated with a mild oxidizing agent isn't it now when you treat with a strong oxidizing the cho group must converted into coh no because in a previous reaction weak oxidizing agent jo tene conversion aagta den mele it must convert in the presence of strong also cho converted into coh so that's a formation of another coh group saccharic acid is a dicarboxylic acid so this coh comes from aldehyde group then this oh comes from what this comes from a primary oh group ch2oh so since there is a formation of dice what uh, carboxylic acid saccharic acid indicates that the glucose molecule contain only one primary alcoholic group primary oh group okay so udidella yen irthad hagadre it will be secondary oh group so this reaction Uh, gluconic acid when you treat with a mild oxidizing agent gluconic acid forms no that on treatment with a nitric acid again we are getting saccharic acid so in uh, in a simple note when glucose is treated with a strong oxidizing agent we are getting a dice carboxylic acid saccharic acid indicating the presence of one primary oh group in the glucose molecule conclusion okay it can also be asked for two marks now structure of glucose now we'll propose we'll find structure of glucose based upon the previous evidences previous conclusions okay first of all so molecular formula is c6 h12o6 six carbon atoms are there in a straight chain isn't it so one aldehyde functional group is there one primary oh group is there and the remaining four are secondary oh group so with these evidences now right will write structure of glucose so if aldehyde group is there in the glucose molecule means 
ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಎಂಡ್ಗೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಚೈನ್ ಎಂಡ್ಗೆ ಒನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಒನ್ ಎಂಡ್ಗೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಲ್ಟ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪಿನ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಚೈನ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಒಂದನೇದ್ದು ಅಥವಾ ಆರನೇದ್ದು ಎರಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಲ್ ಡಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲಿಕ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಟರ್ಮಿನಲ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ಗೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಲ್ ಡಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಒ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲಿಕ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಒ ಎಚ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ 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 ಒ ಎಚ್ ಎಚ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಒ ಎಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಓಪನ್ ಚೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಈ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ನ ಪ್ರಪೋಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಲಿಸಿಟೇಷನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ವೈಟ್ ಕಲರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆಯ್ನ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಹೆಸರಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ವಿ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಕಲ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ಸಾಲಿಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಂಡಿಡಿದ್ವಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ reactions this concept is called structure elucidation structure will be like this cho c hoh oh h hoh hoh cs2 oh okay so ili prashne kelabodu sir some of uh, hydroxy groups are uh, written on this uh, left side they are written here and uh, remaining uh, four uh, three are written here and one prim- primary ಒ ಎಚ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇದ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒ ಎಚ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ರೈಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಲೆಬಸ್ ಇದು ಹೈಯರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಸ್ಟೀರಿಯೋ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ಸ್ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ವರಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಡ್ರಿ ಅದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಗಿಲ್ಲ ಹೈಯರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ಚೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ so don't worry this open chain structure question will not be there in the examination e structure bari ri one mark ge two mark ge kelodilla previous reactions al prashne barabodu but idana bari ri anta prashne barodilla so different structure will be asked for you in the examination that we'll see later so hagadre ee structure na bari likke kelodilla so this is the structure i have man written once again this structure is called d plus glucose idra hesare eno bari glucose annodilla adike d plus glucose anta heltare what is d here what is plus here ha d boss d andre we'll see so this d is a relative configuration it is configuration whereas plus is what it is it indicates dextro rotatory so organic compound alli we have dextro rotatory and levo rotatory concept antide this glucose is optically active which rotate the plane polarized light in a plus direction positive direction clockwise direction or it may rotate in a anti clockwise direction so adike clockwise direction dal rotate madidre dextro rotatory anteve anti clockwise levo rotatory this glucose is found to be dextro rotatory so how it is dextro rotator that concept is not there for you so here this plus mark indicates what dextro rotatory kelo students confuse madkotare capital d is dextro rotatory no plus indicates what dextro rotatory alli minus bartidre levo rotatory andre organic compound rotate the plane polarized light in a anti clockwise direction minus direction adu levo rotatory plus direction clockwise direction andre dextro rotatory so here plus is dextro rotatory then what about this capital d it is configuration then how to mean uh, write uh, dextro uh, capital d capital l and all we'll see look at this point glucose is correctly named as d plus glucose so d is configuration plus is dextro rotatory what did i know d before the name of a glucose represent configuration whereas plus represent dextro rotator in nature of the molecule glucose is dextro rotatory the letters d and l capital d capital l before the name of any compound indicate the relative configuration of a particular isomer so 
आई सुमर नहीं वरी हो तो दिस रेफर्स टू देर रिलेशन सो हाउ टू राइट दैट डी दिस रेफर्स टू देर रिलेशन विथ अ पर्टिक्युलर आईसोमर ऑफ ग्लिसरा डी हाइट सो दिस डी कॉन्फिगरेशन एंड यल कॉन्फिगरेशन वी विल राइट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू आईसोमर्स ऑफ ग्लिसरा डी हाइट सो इन ऑर्डर टू हैव अ क्लियर नॉलेज अबाउट दिस वील सी दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स these are structures of a glyceraldehyde uh, they are uh, trioses which contain three carbon atoms here these are two forms of glyceraldehyde one is called plus glyceraldehyde another one is minus glyceraldehyde what's the difference between these two structure in a plus glyceraldehyde oh is on a right side in a minus glyceraldehyde oh is on a left side okay that's a different position of h and oh in the uh, space isn't it okay so based upon these positions of hydroxy group they are termed as a plus isomer and minus isomer now then all those organic compound which are chemically correlated to plus isomer of glyceraldehyde if the organic compound is correlated to this plus isomer of the glyceraldehyde they are called as what d configuration and all those organic compound which are correlated to this minus glyceraldehyde they are called as what l configuration okay na agle helide glucose do d heng baritare in relation to glyceraldehyde we'll see what is that relation look at this structure this is glyceraldehyde structure and this is glucose structure so in glucose structure we need to see the position of oh on a anti penultimate carbon anti penultimate carbon andre last but one carbon that means this carbon can you see here i made a red dot here this carbon no tree so e carbon oh oh position we need to correlate with a glyceraldehyde so this dotted line can you see this so this part is similar to plus glyceraldehyde or minus glyceraldehyde definitely it is similar to what plus glyceraldehyde isn't it it is similar to plus glyceraldehyde look here hoh ch2oh hoh ch2oh so therefore this glucose is correlated to plus glyceraldehyde then it is called as what d configuration adhe e denadru position minus glyceraldehyde gittaga adike en antidru l configuration got it so why the name of uh, why the name of glucose contain capital d so here this capital d indicates what so this isomer uh, this sorry this capital d indicates related to configuration of a molecule with respect to plus glyceraldehyde and this plus mark in a glucose indicates dextro rotatory nature okay so uh, when you look at the previous year question papers from this concept there were no question were asked so far innu varigenu kelilla okay andre this concept is mm, not much important as far as theory examination is concerned but competitive examinations ge ee points beku cet neat j double exam ge ella ee concepts ella ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಓಕೆ ಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಬಂತು ಅಂದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಯಾವುದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಚ್ ಟು ಎಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತೇವೆ ಓಪನ್ ಚೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ glucose yes this open chain structure has some limitations it has got some drawbacks it has some failures fail aitu kelond aspect ali so next comes one more structure okay it's a fisher structure ante ate vadad mele matto one bartade howard structure so that howard structure is important for two marks in the examination nagle helide open chain structure bariri anta exam dali kelodilla yavud kelthare how what structures they are very important in this 
ಕಾರ್ಬೋಹೈಡ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಮೋನೋಸೆಕ್ರೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಷನ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಎಲ್ಯೂಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಎಲ್ಯೂಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಏನಿದಾವಲ್ಲ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈ ಬನ್ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ರಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ಚೇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಂದು ಬಿ ಡಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಚೇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಡ್ರಾಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮ